Hey gang, this is Last Username, and today we're going to build my Light Sensor 7X. This is it. Uh, Light Sensor 7X is a day night sensor. Uh, if you saw my Light Sensor Nano video, um, this one is about seven times more sensitive than that one, seven times faster. Um, it's a little more complicated to build, but uh, it's still pretty compact for what it does, I'd say. I haven't seen any other day-night sensor that is uh, this space efficient. Um, so the uh, the sensitivity of this thing, it uh, has a median response time of uh, I believe two seconds for detecting night and five seconds for detecting day. Um, that's just the, the median time, so half the time it'll be faster than that, half the time it'll be slower. Uh, Realistically, I mean, in the worst cases, it's it's not going to take more than like 10 or 15 seconds to detect day. So this thing is pretty snappy, pretty reliable. Um, it's a 12 by 11 by 12 by 5 in size. So there's five layers. Uh, I'm going to show you how to build it layer by layer, starting from the bottom. And uh, let's get started. So for the first layer, I'm just going to build a stone foundation for the machine. Uh, and that will show you the total footprint of it. So that's going to be uh, 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And I'm going to use the magic of world edit to make this less boring. There we go. 11 by 12. Let's get rid of that ugly thing. Now, um, I'm going to start by digging a trench that is just one away from the edge here and seven long. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you're going to put redstone torches along the side like that. Do the same on the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right. Now we're going to take some grass and we're going to go like this. Whoops, not like that. Um, you want a uh, sort of island of stone that's seven long, so aligned with the torches there. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then you're going to surround the stone with grass. And the same on the other side. There we go. That's layer one. All right, layer two. Uh, this layer is kind of a complicated one, so pay close attention. Uh, we're going to start by putting grass over top of those stone islands. So seven grass blocks on each side. These grass blocks are the sensor blocks. These are the ones that will change back and forth between dirt and grass to detect night and day. And beside those, we're going to put sticky pistons. These will be part of the bud switches that will detect the grass growing and dying. Again, seven on each side facing out. And in the middle, we're going to put a bunch of glass. And that's going to start just above the glass here. Just, just above the grass. That yeah, glass, grass. Be a lot of that, uh, just like that, all the way to there, and right at the end, put two slabs, any kind of slab, half slab. Put another two slabs up here, and put four 
regular torches at the ends of the rows of pistons. All right, now we're going to put redstone dust along the edge here, in front of the torches, the redstone torches, uh, up to here, then a repeater, set it to delay of two ticks, very important, and redstone dust like that, same on the other side, just in front of the torches, repeater set to two ticks, And now we're going to put stone all the full length of the machine in front of the pistons. So right up to where that dust is. Same on the other side. And another line of stone across here in front of the glass. And lastly but not leastly, Leastly, I guess that's a word. Redstone torch right there. And that is the second layer. Layer three begins with four non sticky pistons on top of that stone, like that. Then we're going to take some grass and we're going to start above this torch and go on top of the sticky pistons all the way to the end here, over that torch, across, over that torch, and back across the pistons on the other side, all the way to the fourth torch there. Then we're going to take some stone and go from one end of the machine all the way to the other end on this side. We're going to make a stone hug goes around the pistons here. And put some stone uh, beside this grass over here. But leave a little notch right here. Because everyone likes notch. And in that notch, put a couple of redstone dust. Put a redstone torch on the other side so it lights up that dust. And on this side only, we're going to put regular torches on the edge like that, all along the stone. That's layer three. The fourth layer has a ring of half slabs that goes on top of all this grass goes all the way around and it goes over top of the four non-sticky pistons as well. And inside that ring we're going to put some stone like this. fill that up with stone, but we're going to leave a gap along there and along there. I'm going to put a piece of glass right there. And then we're going to put water, four water source blocks, there, 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 and there. Make sure you got all four of them there. Put some redstone dust on top of these stone blocks here, all the way to there, and then you can put a redstone torch right there. So that wire will be uh, turning that torch on and off. Put uh, some more redstone dust all along here, so it should connect to that. All along the stone, that dust will power the pistons. It'll connect to that torch, 
and it'll go all along here just to where the last redstone torch on the bottom is. Oh, actually, you don't need that one right there. And that's layer four. And finally, the fifth layer is a layer of grass blocks. Uh, start by going over top of the water and then all along the edge here over top of these slabs. Now right here there's seven blocks that are going to be the window where light goes in the machine, so we're going to leave that open. And fill the rest in with clap glass. And in the window, we're going to put whatever your favorite leaf block is. I'll go with the traditional oak leaves. You're free to use pine, birch, or jungle leaves. And we're going to put more regular torches on this side only, all along the edge of the grass. And that's it, we're done. The uh, output on the machine you can get uh, from this torch here, or from here it works too. And those are inverted, so this one will be on at night, and this one will be on during the day. All right, this is what you've all been waiting for. Time for some hot, hot grass growing action. I'm in no-clip mode here, so we're going to take a look inside this machine. And uh, you can see over here, we've got a bunch of dirt blocks on the day sensor side and a bunch of grass blocks on the night sensor side. And the machine's full of water. So what's happening here is we've got sunlight outside, and that's light level 15. When it hits those leaves, it's going to diffuse. So you'll have light level 14 at this level. And when it goes to the water, it's going to go down by an extra two, uh, so three in total. So we have 14 and then 11. Now, light level 11 is plenty to keep grass alive. It needs uh, below, as long as that's light level four, it won't die. But if we keep going in the machine, we'll have light level 11, 8, 5, 2. And light level 2 uh, will kill the grass if it has water over top of it, which it does. And that's why you've got all dirt on this side. Now, when we switch to night, let's see what happens here. Let's do this twice for some reason. Okay, now we got the moonlight out, and the moonlight's only level four. And it's gonna hit the leaves and diffuse, so it'll end up being level three and level zero. Now level zero will kill the grass because there's water over it. There, that grass block just died. And that triggered this bud switch over here, which flipped the RS neural latch over there and turned the water off and flipped the machine into night mode. Now in night mode, we've got these torches over here. And those are going to be level 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. So we're going to have light level 5 right over top of this grass, and that's enough for it to grow back. So this thing is eventually going to grow back over the course of the night. In fact, any blocks here that might be dirt for whatever reason will grow back over the course of the night. Meanwhile, on this side, we've got light level 5, 4, 3, 2. And that's not enough for this dirt to grow into grass. However, when day comes along, something got light level 15 outside again. And then it's going to be 14, 13, 12, 11, 10 and that will cause one of these to grow into grass, which it just did right there. And that will trigger this bud switch over here, flip the RS Nor back, turn the water back on, and we're back where we started. And that's how it works. Hope that made sense. I'm Last Username. Enjoy your Light Sensor 7X.